Hello YouTube, this is Keith Kevin Kent. How you doing? How you doing? I hope you're doing well. It is Tuesday, November 20th, 2018. For most people, it's a short week. Thanksgiving is this Thursday. We're two days away from Thanksgiving. And it's a little chilly. Thanksgiving should be real chilly around most of the U.S. Look, I'm talking like I'm the weatherman. <laughs> Hope all of you are doing well. Let's talk about today. Today it's another pocket dump deconstruction. The watch is my Concorde Impresario. I love this Concorde. I keep saying most of my watches, I haven't bought a watch in a lot of years. I bought a lot of watches when I was a consultant. I used them as kind of rewards to me when I got a new client or whatever. My cigar, oh, hold on. Ah, oh, real short smoke. One of the newer Cuban brands. When I say newer, I don't mean next last week ago, but at least new to me. Or maybe just the branding. It's a different kind of branding, modern branding, but... Oh, what a wonderful Cuban cigar. I'm going to mispronounce it as usual, but you see the letters right there, right? Vigarios, I think. That's what happens when you smoke alone. You spend time alone. You don't hear a lot of people talking about how to pronounce things. It's just how you pronounce it oh, in your mind. Just a nice, quick smoke. Ah, shown design DLC pen. Today, scotch. I got snuffles, sniffles. It's only it's gonna be whiskey or scotch, but I've got scotch and it's the blended kind. When I do single malt, I want my nose passages as clear as possible, <laughs> not stuffed up. <laughs> I love my Macallan, I'll tell you. Um, short, I mean short, one of my flat Mont Blanc wallets. Let's see what coin we have. The coin today is one of the newer ones that I got from the men. It's called Two Dragons Coin. Um, I want to see who it's from. I think it's, I think it's an Australian coin. I really don't know. Two Dragons. I just picked it up. We know it's not Chinese, right? You can see on the back. So, uh, might be a UK coin. Just a wonderful, I just did it because I, it's, it's a newer coin and, uh, I love that pattern on it. That's the one ounce silver coin that I'm carrying. I do that every day. Boy, it's been less than a year now since I went from trying to carry three knives to carrying just two. And I'll tell you, I get obsessed with how small my carries are now. <laughs> Even when I... <laughs> And my three knives, people always seem, oh, but one knife is always a keychain knife, always, because I only have a silver loop with three keys. This is my coach pad. Um, yeah, I'm going with a roadie again. This is the black roadie. The roadie, the Spyderco roadie comes in five colors, black, gray, blue, red, and orange. Slip joint, small slip joint knife. Originally designed when the FAA, the Federal Aviation Administration, was thinking about allowing knives, small knives, small unlocking knives, to, uh, after 9-11, they decided that they were going to let small knives back on the plane, and then they changed their mind. Spyderco said, hey, let's do a real quick little pin knife out of it, and that they can sell all over the world because... A lot of places don't like locking knives. 
This, a slip joint, is a non-locking knife. It has a half stop right there, gives you some resistance, then it just goes right down. Another thing that a people overseas, a lot of people overseas, a lot of countries, not only don't like locking knives, but they don't like knives that you can open with one hand. Now, of course, with slip joints, they're non-locking. There's tension at the top. There's tension with a half stop most of the time. And, of course, with Spydeco, they put the full choil, forward choil there so that your finger stops it from going over. The Spidey hole is just real small. You need two hands to open this. Um, and then they put these little divots instead of a nail nick so that you can open them up. But I just open it that way. Left hand, right hand, tip up only. No real clip, as you can see. A decent sized lanyard hole, a perfect size for your keychain. FRN scales, fiberglass reinforced nylon scales, 1.7 inch blade with bowlers N690 steel. Only one ounce. I think the other day I, I carried the red or the orange or the blue one. I forget which one. You know, <laughs> one day I had six Chris Reeve Manundis. The gentleman's folder Manundi. Manundi is very nice in Zulu very nice and it is very nice during the trimmings i let all six of those knives go and then i bought three new <laughs> ones because i missed them so much i actually had a number 10 carbon fiber these carbon fiber manundis from chris reeve they are exclusive to blade hq and they only did 10 of them and I got number 10 when they released it. Stayed up all night like I was a teenager or something. Grown man to get it. I sold it. At way too good of a price. <laughs> I wanted one back. Only Blade HQ had them. And I think I bought the last one. I bought a lefty knife. This is the first lefty knife that I ever bought. Chris Reeve just makes his knives right-handed or left-handed you have to buy a left-handed knife so as a righty i bought a left-handed knife you know it's a nice gentleman's folder pocket knife i'm still not that used to it because first you can't move the clip but it's this the lock bar on the chris reeve integral frame lock it is a frame lock even though it almost looks like a liner lock because of the scales, carbon fiber scale that, go, that covers most of it. <laughs> but that's the thing. It's built for a left-hander, see? Just push and close. Right-hander, the lock gets in the way. <laughs> but I like it anyway. I wanted one, so I got a lefty. I usually put... <laughs> The Chris Reeve knife, because of that wonderful clip, looks like a tie clip or, or, a, or a, a pin clip, fountain pen clip. I usually put it in my dress shirt pocket anyway, clip to it. So left or right, this isn't for a quick draw. <laughs> so I'm going real light. I have a small little cigar. <laughs> and my lefty Chris Reeve knife. I'm not used to it, obviously, but I'm happy that I have it. I'm real happy that I have it. I know a lot of people, not personally, but on the internet, that are lefties that, man, they spend most of their lives critiquing right-handed knives, and they're so good at it. Now I see it's not all that easy. The knife that got away, I just wanted a Chris Reeve carry. The knife that got away is the KnifeArt.com exclusive carbon fiber. Small Sabenza 21 from Chris Reeve with the T 
Tanto blade. S35VN steel, by the way, S35VN steel on the Manundi as well. The Manundi 2.75 inch blade of that S35VN steel on the small Sabenza 21 2.9 inch, so it's just a little bit bigger. It is thicker, built a little tougher. The uh, Manundi only weighs 1.6 ounces. The large, uh, the small Sabenza 21, 2.9 ounces. It's 6.9 inches total. The Manundi is 6.4 inches. So they're close in size, but obviously the thickness is a little bit different when you talk about the small Sabenza 21. It feels like, even though with the carbon fiber, it too turns into more or less a gentleman's folder, it's a sturdier one. You know you can do work with this little Sabenza 21, a little bit more than you can do with the Manundi. But I like them. I like them as a pair. There you have it. That is today's carry. I liked this knife so much that that's the, I had all kinds of carbon fiber. I know every now and then I try not to think about what went out. I'm so happy that I did the trimming on this channel because a lot of you have those nice knives and I'm so happy about that. But that's the last of my small carbon fiber Sabenzas. Um, and before I had, I don't know, eight of them. So I'm very happy to have that one. There you have it. Small carry for this Tuesday. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe. Takes a couple of seconds. Only 30%. We finally got to 30% after two years. <laughs> About 30% of you have taken that two seconds to subscribe another 70 percent haven't and by the way i'm talking about of the people who usually watch this channel so if you usually watch it maybe not every day not monday through friday but you you dip in when we have the spydeco knives or whatever take a couple of seconds and subscribe i'd really appreciate it and then hit that bell when you hit the bell that means that you will be notified when a new video comes up. I usually go Monday through Friday. We do pocket dump deconstructions. I'll do some special things as well. And of course, the knife of the day when we get new spiticles coming in or when I purchase a knife. Thank you very much, you guys, for watching. Take good care of yourselves. Keep those pockets full. Goodbye.